Hi everyone, welcome back to Chosko. Today we are going to review Lee Chang Ho 9 Piece game recently played in the LG Cup preliminary on April 13th. As you guys may well know, Lee Chang Ho 9 Piece is one of the legendary players of all time in the world. I'm happy to see that he's still playing in high level of the Korean Go competitions. The 25th LG Cup Korean preliminary is going on now, and due to the coronavirus, the preliminary takes place separately in each country, unlike before. Until the last year, it was a combined preliminary that the players from different countries competed together. This is the picture of the playing room for the LG Cup in the Korean Baduk Association, which looks very unusual. Every player is wearing masks and playing with laptops instead of the gold and stones. Also, they are sitting separate of each other to avoid direct physical contact. This is the picture of Lee Chang-ho 9P playing the preliminary with the laptop. And his opponent is Kim Ji-myung 2P who is a rookie pro. Alright, let's see how the game went. Lee Chang-ho 9P is black. And why is Kim Ji Myung 2P in the game? Both players start with the two star points. And this is a very solid corner enclosure. We can feel the Chang'o 9P solid start from that enclosure. White takes the 3 3 point in the top right corner and black blocks and makes the knight move. White attaches underneath and black extends. Here if black harness, it becomes a very complex joseki like this. I guess Lee Chang-ho 9P didn't want to have the complication in the early opening. On the other hand, here if white wants to avoid the complicated joseki, white should bump first and hane. Back to the rear game, white pushes and black stands again. White took away the corner in Sente and black built a strong wall. In the rear game, white makes the large knight chain crusher in the bottom left corner. It's certainly a big move, but in this situation, there is bigger and more urgent point. Where do you think white should have played instead? That is this split. Now black has a really strong wall in the top right corner, so I should prevent black from making a big moyo with the wall. And to do that, this split is the perfect spot. If black approaches from the bottom, white makes the extension. And if black comes from the top, white makes the extension. So here is one principle to keep in mind. When your opponent has a wall, you should look for the extension point from it and try to take it away. It goes the same for when you have a wall. If you have a wall and a chance to make an extension from it, you should do it quickly. Continuing the rear game, Black takes the side extension and Black's moyo is quite big and ideal. White encloses the top left corner and Black defends the bottom right corner. Back here, White could have invaded in the big moyo right away. While Black should respawn like this. White can easily destroy the side. It's hard to say which is better between this variation and the real game. Continuing the real game. White also defends the bottom left corner with a similar move. Before AI, this diagonal move was more preferred to secure the corner. But now in this large knight chain crucial shape, it's hard to see the diagonal move because AI says the invasion is quite severe. If white blocks the top, black bombs, hane, and make the own space in the corner. White should push and cut to capture the two stones, like this. And according to AI, this is a successful outcome for black. 
because black took the corner away in Sente. Black made white stronger outside, but the shoulder hit is efficiently reducing white's influence, so black is okay. And back here, if white blocks inside, black makes the shoulder hit and block right away. Even if white hits the head of two stones, black is fine by the honey underneath. After white blocks and black connects, now the A and B exchange is beneficial for black. So after white extends, black can take the good sentence. and defend the bottom side. According to AI, it's a good result for black because later black could move the A stone out, depending on the situation. So that's why this knight move is more preferred for the corner these days. Black makes the two space on the right side to expand the moyo. And here, this shoulder hit is also playable for black to create a bigger moyo. Then white answers like this, and come like this to reduce the moyo. It's another game. Back to the real game. White makes the shoulder hit. And black jumps with the knight move, which is a territorial move. Here white also makes the knight move, but that was a mistake because this push is severe. White cannot block here because black cuts and extend. Now the two stones of white are in trouble. So white makes the one space jump in the real game, but black wedges. And make the sand dash in the bottom left corner. To make sure that black can create a call. Later black can make a call like this. Then after the sand dash, Black makes the knight move to build the right side box. Now black is making a lot of points in the box. White also gains some strength on the bottom side, but the points seem to have more value. So back here, instead of the knight move, white should have played the one space to keep the connection. If black makes the knight move, white is fine by just pushing and blocking. Now white is staying on the top of black, which means black won't be able to expand the right side moyo anymore. Continuing the real game, white invades on the right side, and black makes the iron pillar. White makes the sand dance, and jump here to reduce the right side. This move looks like a fine reduction move, but Actually, it was an overplay. Black covers next, and white is surrounded. So back here, according to AI, white should have jumped further from the wall like this. Although black captures the A stone, white stays playing lightly like this. There is an as left at A, which means white could bring the triangle stone alive later. In the real game, this cover is severe. White makes the one space trying to escape, but this wedge is the proper cut. Now the A and B are Mi, which means white is now sealed off. And here white jumps to create some defect in black shape, and AA says that's another overplay. Here according to AI, white should have extended that A to sacrifice the four stones inside. Black's territory is too big, but white has a chance to make a bigger moyo on the left side, like this. This way, white has a better chance. However, the four stones are still too big to give up, so as a human, it will be very difficult to make the decision of sacrificing. Continuing the real game, white is struggling to live inside. And here AI analyzed that black can just make the Atari and let white live inside, like this. Now white is alive, but black gets the center and play the left side. Now black has a complete wall in the center, so even if black lost the right side, black is still good. 
Black even has the center of A as a profit. Furthermore, Black has a lot of core threats against the white group on the right side. So Black has a strong chance to win the call that Black can create by playing at B. In conclusion, Black has gained more things globally than Black locally lost from the right side territory. It's a very interesting global concept of AI. Back to the real game, Black jumps in to kill the white group. While white has to block, Black connects like this. After white extends, Black connects, and white attaches to the black group. Black blocks next, and here this extension is the losing move in this game. Here AI says that white should make the sente, and just give them up by playing here. Black would jump in and leave some Aji on the top side, then Hane here to kill the white group. White makes the two space jump to attack the A stone, and white can expect a large amount of points on the left side. This way, white still has a chance to come back according to AI. It's a very difficult decision to make sacrificing the big group, but it's still the right way. Back to the real game, Blank makes the attachment on the top side, and by that move, Black can come out. White keeps struggling to escape, but there is no way out. Here if White connects, Blank makes the one space jump, and it's still all blocked off. So White jumps there instead to disconnect Black, but Black is well prepared for that. After Black cuts, and connect. This attachment is the good Tetsuji for the capturing race. If white blocks on this side, black gets the sente, and start the capturing race. If white continues the race, black plays like that, And black is ahead by one liberty like this. Which means white is dead. So Li Chang 9P read all the variations and knew that black can capture white. This is very impressive, right? So in the real game, white harness on the other side and captures the one stone to connect underneath. Now I can make a call like this. But the problem is, even if white wins the call, it will be still bad for white because black got a complete wall in the center and got the top side. Black will be okay even if black gets a reasonable profit by a call threat. So they are continuing the call. And white has no call threat to win the call. And here white resigned after black attacked. If white continues playing like this, white has no more call threat like I said, so white has to make two eyes. And black will capture the top right corner. Now black is far ahead. As a result, Lee chang 9 p played the perfect game and won by resignation. I'm amazed by his perfect play and how he managed the Bing Moyo game. I hope he will keep it up in the preliminary. So that's it for today. If you have any questions, please leave comments and let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you really enjoyed this video, please like the video and also subscribe to my channel and turn the notification. I'll really appreciate it. I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for watching.